first thing you're going to do is look for your Autodesk Professional software on your desktop. This is 2019. Yours might not be 2019. You may have a newer version. It takes long time or not, depending, again, upon your machine. So it's the first thing that you see when you open it up is you're going to see the this kind of splash screen. And this is where some of the most recent files you've been working on, you can find them in here. Those are the, these are underpinned files right here. So this is kind of just how to start. All right, so you're going to go to New to start a new file. And the first thing you want to start with is um, we're going to go into Metric. And you want to open up a standard part file. Make sure it says part, little, the little cube, little yellow cube, part millimeter, because we're using so we're going to be using, uh, we're an engineering, so metric system. So wait for that to open up. And this is going to be the place where you always start your projects right here. Nice blank screen. Make it full screen. It's going to fit right inside there. And that's your working space. And if you look around over on the left, this is really important. This is kind of your where everything is located. So you could find things, your sketches, all your different thing parts you're making are on the left. Everything on the right is kind of how you move stuff around within your model. So across the top, you're going to find the ribbons, all different things you can do. The first thing you always start with is a sketch. So go to the sketch tab, start 2D sketch, and then you're going to choose one of the planes. Generally, you always start with the XY plane. So there you go. So that's the origin. And across the top, there are all different tools and things. We're gonna just focus right now on the create. So this is how you actually create something that, uh, that's gonna be on your workspace. You're gonna create a shape. So you can do a rectangle shape, you can do the text, all sorts of different things. So we're gonna start off by just making a line, choosing the line tool. So here we are, voila, a line, done. And you can end it by, um, Double clicking, you can end it by pressing escape. I usually press escape for everything. I just get, it kind of just frees up my tools. That way my tools no longer activate if you press escape. And good practice is after you draw something, you should dimension it. For this purpose of this video, I'm not gonna dimension everything, but you, when you're making your own stuff, you should dimension all of your lines. We'll go, I'll go over that a little bit more later. So I can change the dimension here to 20 millimeters if I want. There you go. So that's how you change the size of things that you're making in your sketches or your actually your models because you always start your models with your sketch. So you you can change the dimensions of your sketch at any time. And now this is the spline tool. It gives you a nice curve. When you're done doing that, you press the little check. And there are other tools that you can use. There are a lot of them are hiding inside each other over on the um, on the left. So I'm using my hand tool to move. See, there we have a circle. Notice I made my circle. Now the next thing to do is again to dimension it. This is my dimension. I'm changing this also to 20 millimeters just to make it nice and neat. And yes, it's the size I want. So there we go. So you can make an arc. And again, to dimension, if you dimension the arc, you just like to do it with the circle, and you're gonna tell it what the radius is, because it's starting from, it's just a piece of a circle. So you want the radius for that also. You do not want to finish the 2D sketch so you're done. That means you're just done with the entire sketch. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna draw is a rectangle. I like to do two points. There are different ways to do rectangles, whatever works best for you. So here is a rectangle that I have made. All right, going to use the hand tool again. I'm going to scroll over a little bit. I'm going to now, there is there is one more of these creators I want to show you. It's more of a bit of a modify, but you're going to take, this is how you round off a corner. There you go. Again, the dimension, you'll see the two. That is for the, um, the two is for the radius of that corner. So we're rounding off the corner. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the um, some other things. There's one more over here, the point. 
the point is that's just a point it's a dot right on your right on your model and that's useful for dimensioning if you want to position something exactly where it is you can put a point in and dimension it and that way it'll and if you lock that dimension in then then that's a really helpful way to, to work okay so now that we have made kind of all of these pieces we're going to actually modify them so how, now that we have them made now what if we want to do some stuff with them we want to kind of change them a little bit so the first thing i do is move what if i want to move it? i don't like it there so i'm going to press the move tool and you're going to do first you can do is you're going to select the, what you want to move it doesn't always work for me the first time so i usually just kind of there you go so there is I've selected it. See how it has the plus? So now I can select that. And now I'm going to move it. So I'm going to, so the, this arrow is red. That means it's waiting for me to choose something. It's waiting for me to choose a base point, which is just this kind of where I'm moving it from. All right, now I've moved it. Nice. Done. Okay, if I want to make a copy of this, then again, I go and I select once I get the... There you go. So as I selected it, so it turned blue. My base point, just kind of where I'm moving it from, click kind of anywhere, and now I've made, I'm moving this, and now I have two. So the original one stayed where it was. So I've made a copy. For the copy tool, it works a little bit differently. You, once, once you choose it, it does not, it almost makes like a stamp. It actually will ends up moving your original one. And then every time you, you click down, it's making copies. So that's how you use that, that tool. We'll scroll over a little bit more. Get some more room. Okay, so now we're gonna do some other things kind of by actually changing the, the lines on our drawings. Well, if, actually first we're gonna show you the rotate tool. So we're going to choose the rotate tool. Again, the first thing that you do is you, we're going to select. Now, there are multiple lines to select, so at this point, it's easier just to go from left to right. See that red box? Everything inside the red box is selected because I went from left to right. And that turned blue, so I know I've chosen it. And then, again, I'm selecting my center point, clicking. And then that's just telling me, that's just saying that you want to um, kind of unlock it. So there you go. And I've rotated it and done perfect exactly what i want it okay so some other modification tools you can do is other than moving it copying it rotating it you can actually trim your lines down so say i want to get rid of some of these lines i want to make this into one big shape so i can take that just kind of trim them out trimming out all these lines out and there we go okay and kind of the opposite of that is the extend tool so I'm going to actually be extending the lines out. So it's going to extend until it hits another line, which is helpful. This is a very helpful tool when you're um, making a shape and you're trying to get it to extrude and there's a hole in it. So there we go. So now I have that line that's actually touching. So it's a completed shape. Okay, so now we are going to scale which is making something bigger or smaller to scale it down, to scale it up. So I'm going to choose what I want, what I want to scale. And I'm going to be choosing from right to left, which I'm going to get a green box. Everything that the green box touches gets selected. And I'm going to get my base point. And there we go. So now I've scaled my, I've scaled it. Done. Now I'm going to show you the offset. You can just offset there and just right around the center point, offset. And now I'm all done with everything. I, I think the sketch looks pretty good. Is there anything I need to do? So now to finish it up, you always finish your sketch by pressing finish sketch. And you kind of locked it in. And that is how, that's the basics of 2D sketching in Inventor.